incredible, wonderful city, very eclectic, very diverse. The company it already is very diverse and I'm, I'm Cuban, so I mingle in the city, I go around and I fit perfectly. So it's very cosmopolitan, it's, it's just wonderful. What I've seen so far, it's just great. You feel at home already? I feel at home. The canal is very trendy. I went the other day to the Dick Best Club really a lot of things going on there and part of my plan is to open the doors into the community so that Birmingham Royal Ballet go to site specific to do shows in the canal to do shows out there to keep connecting with the audience so everything that I'm bringing is new. When we talk about ballet some people have a perception that it's posh it's for posh people but your background is not posh is it you come from humble stuff it's a proof that it's not, it's not like that. We have a scheme in Birmingham Royal Ballet now with tickets that about 20,000 tickets are gonna be on the, the 20 pounds. So uh, it's very, very accessible. For us, it's very important that it is perceived as a very accessible because we're doing all this wonderful ground uh, breaking um, work in order to connect more, we had the dance track uh, scheme, which is we giving tuition for boys and girls on the DHO from six to eight. We had already like about 80 of them for free. We give them even to free e uniform. I think uh, there is a lot of groundbreaking work that this company is doing for a long, long time. And I think hopefully the, the people start to pay attention because we're bringing all these new exciting things and, and uh, it's, gonna, it's going to lay the ground of what is yet to come. Um, I'm very excited in what's yet to come. One of the things that I, I also want to, the people to, to understand is that we are bringing new titles and new repertory that are more representative of the city of Birmingham. My inspiration is that the city of Birmingham as a whole, it emerged as a powerhouse, uh, you know, in the art, maybe perhaps, and this is just, you know, hopefully rival to London, perhaps. Some people might say it's crazy, but why not? Why don't bring, don't dream big? So, because there's a lot of interesting things happening, but a lot of people don't know about, you know, I want, I want these, these things that uh, they are building and we have going on here in Birmingham to, be effective in, 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 you know, send it out there into the world so that the people in, in, in Moscow, in Texas, whatever knows that Birmingham is doing all these grand working uh, artistic uh, propositions. Describe how you got into ballet because it's unconventional, isn't it? Just tell us a bit about your childhood and how it, how it all started. I, I was a, a street kid you know, we grow up into a Havana, a Havana barrio uh, in the outskirts of the city and I didn't care about ballet. I, I thought it was, it was the most boring thing in the world until I saw the professionals for the first time and then it changed my life. So part of the things that I'm bringing is hopefully, you know, we give somebody else out there uh, the same, it produce the same like it did to me. It is an exciting world that changed my life forever. And uh, one thing also to learn about, uh, you know, my life is that it is possible. It is possible to, was uh, born in, in the outskirts of uh, Havana Barrio and raised to be, you know, principal dancer of the Royal Ballet and now director of Birmingham Royal Ballet. Your dad was the one that encouraged you, wasn't he? My dad forced me to dance, yeah? Of course, I'm not gonna do this with my, my daughters, but, but uh, at the same time, he did it from the place of love, you know? He saw a talent, uh, and then he went to cultivate that talent. To me, uh, ballet in the beginning, uh, it was just not what I wanted to do. I didn't understand it. I thought it was something that girls do, but uh, how wrong I was. And, uh, and again, there is a stigma attached to ballet that uh, I hopefully, uh, I, I wanted to break because it's a just great world, you know? It's like, why go into the movie theater if you have Birmingham Royal Ballet, one of the greatest company in the world, bringing this wonderful work of art and, you know, putting all the amazing shows and everything. So I encourage people to give us a chance because we're bringing all these exciting things going on that they'll, they'll be proud. Do you think there's a problem with diversity in the ballet and what can you do about it? Now, there is a part 
of perhaps paying attention to what we're doing because we're going to be ready bringing all this fun. I'm curating a festival, a summer festival. I'm bringing robots, dancing robots on the stage, flamenco, salsa, under the umbrella of Birmingham Royal Ballet. And it's a statement saying the Royal Ballet, this is a new Birmingham Royal Ballet. Pay attention, come on with us. We welcome you. Art speaks to your soul, you know. Art, I know life can be very stressful, but if you're part of art, it makes you run out of your own head and into a different world. And we take you, we tell you fairy tale story, you know, like Swan Lake, or we bring you all, all these other programs, like a triple bill, which give you a, an opportunity to have three tales in one evening so that you could go to Cuba, to Africa in this choreography or to somewhere else, you know, and it produces escapism. And you could be, you know, and, and it's the music, you know, and the, you are being immersed in the world of music with this no word. It's a universal uh, language, which is the language of movement. Carlos Acosta, thank you very much. Thank you.